my dear children my dear children of class 4 science i am taking the subject science today in continuation of the chapter parts of plant we have till now studied parts of plant are root system shoot system in the shoot system first part was stem i which i already taught you and the second part was uh, leaf which i was going to teach you today so the today's topic is leaf this is a part of a plant you already know so first thing about leaf is number one is you have to remember some points about leaf leaf is green in color okay this is a diagram pictorial diagram of leaf leaf is green in color and this its flat and broad part its upper flat and broad part is called leaf blade this part is called leaf blade or lamina it is called lamina and this is a main vein running in the leaf this is called midrib and from this main vein there are many small veins number of side veins are running through the mid from the or through the midrib okay and now these leaves they contain chlorophyll that may helps us in may that helps the plant to make the food leaf has chlorophyll inside it tiny spores there are tiny spores on the surface of leaf that are called stomata that are called stomata on their lower surface they are called stomata they are the tiny holes on the surface of the leaf okay from those holes only exchange of gases also take place and we have uh, leaf has chlorophyll in it chlorophyll pigment in it that gives a green color to the leaf now what are the functions of the leaf see leaf makes food for the plant for the entire plant leaf makes food with the help of air water sunlight this process of making food of leaf through the air water and sunlight is called photosynthesis which we will separately study in detail in the next video this is called photosynthesis so since leaf makes the food for the whole plant so leaf is called as the kitchen of the plant leaf is called as the kitchen of the plant now leaf helps in exchange of gases and give out water vapors through stomata see stomata are the holes so exchange of gases also take place through it and exchange of gases will take place through it and water vapors will also be released through these holes and this process of releasing of water vapors through this tiny pores is also called transpiration this word also will be described in detail in the upcoming topics okay the last the and the last function of leaf is that leaves of some plants they contain food such as cabbage such as cabbage leaves we eat the leaves of cabbage simply we can eat it raw also cabbage and spinach that leaves of spinach we can eat it directly also spinach so these were the functions of leaf these were the points for the leaf i hope leaf topic is clear to you in this a uh, video in the clipping and if it is clear to you and you want to be in touch in with this topic further ahead please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel see you in my next video thank you